join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 16th of March. I'm James Spann. We have a potentially dangerous, severe weather setup for tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. But today, the weather active as well. But clearly, we have a lot to talk about this morning. So let's go right to the maps. This is the upper air look across the country. A very energetic March setup here. We have one weakening upper low that's coming up toward the Great Lakes. A new one diving down into Arizona. And that's the one that will bring the risk of severe storms tomorrow afternoon afternoon and tomorrow night. Now, overnight, we've had some pretty strong storms across the state. That was the radar early this morning at 440. Uh, showers and thunderstorms with heavy rain through parts of North Alabama. One batch of storms coming through southwest Alabama that did prompt a tornado warning briefly for parts of Marengo County early this morning about four o'clock. Uh, that warning was canceled, was not extended, and that's producing heavy rain as I speak through parts of Wilcox and uh, Dallas counties. Temperatures are warm early this morning, and the dew points are high. Dew points are up in the upper 60s over parts of West Alabama. Very moist, unstable air. Here's the watch warning map today. We've got uh, fog issues to the north. We have a winter storm watch for parts of the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma. But uh, we'll be watching for severe storms later today. Now, the main threat today will be west of the state, Texas, Oklahoma, and southern Kansas. They've got the standard slight risk in advance of the next major system coming out of the southwest, the one that's going to be a problem here tomorrow. But today, understand, there is a low-end marginal risk of severe storms for much of the state. That's level one out of five. And like yesterday and early this morning, there could be a few storms with uh, hail, strong gusty winds, but it's not a major severe weather threat. But tomorrow, we do have a major severe weather threat for the southeast United States. That's the large view. And you can see we now have a level four out of five moderate risk for parts of Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas. This is the probabilistic outlook involving tornadoes. And the hatched area means there could be a few strong, violent, long-track tornadoes in that zone from Little Rock down to Montgomery. Of course, that includes a pretty good chunk of Alabama. Uh, this is the look for our state. You've got that moderate risk. And again, that's level four out of five, uh, very close to the high end that includes cities like Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, uh, Anniston, Gadsden, Montgomery, the Shoals, Decatur, an enhanced risk, level three out of five. That includes places like Huntsville, Auburn, Troy, Andalusia, and then a slight risk, level two out of five down to the Gulf Coast, the southern part of Mobile and Baldwin counties and that northeastern corner of the state. And much more about the setup here in a couple of minutes. And then on day three, which is Thursday, the risk moves on to the east. We have an enhanced risk for much of the Carolinas and parts of Georgia. Uh, that risk kind of clips the southeastern corner of the state. And this, this is valid after 7 a.m. Thursday. And uh, some of the storms could be ongoing Thursday morning over southeast Alabama. Rain for the next seven days, obviously a lot. We've had a lot early this morning in some spots. Additional rain amounts between two and three inches for much of the state. And the bulk of that will be between now and early Thursday morning. So let's go into modeling. This is the GFS, the 060 run at 3 o'clock today. Again, the weakening upper low over the Dakotas in Minnesota. The new one digging down into the southwest, Arizona and New Mexico. And that's the one that will be the problem for tomorrow. At the surface, we have a stalled surface boundary around us today. And we've obviously got the showers and storms in progress this morning. Later today, though, things kind of thin out. This is the high-res NAM at 5 o'clock, so it could very well be the bulk of the rain today will be this morning and early this afternoon. And again, uh, we'll take a look at the instability values for today. This is valid at 5 o'clock. Uh, no instability for northeast Alabama, but there is some from Birmingham south and west. And the shear, not much at all. So we don't expect a tornado problem today. But again, some of the storms that uh, uh, carry on this morning, this afternoon, could produce small hail, gusty winds. But let's focus on tomorrow. Uh, this is at 3 o'clock, I'm sorry, 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We're back on daylight saving time. Got a very deep upper low near Oklahoma City. And that trough will be going negative tilt, adding the diffluence across the region. That helps the upward motion of the atmosphere. Surface low is over the northwest corner of Arkansas, and we're clearly in the warm sector. So uh, this is the high-res NAM valid tomorrow evening at 7. Now, the question is, could we see some storms forming in the afternoon? 
Uh, and that's a possibility. Uh, I, I could see a situation where we had some scattered storms in the afternoon, and those could go severe. But the main action is still over Mississippi tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. I really get the idea this will be a mainly nighttime event for the state. But again, if storms can get going in the afternoon, they could be severe. But the main dynamic support comes in here tomorrow night. This is the instability tomorrow evening at 7 and you can see some spots hitting uh, 2,000 joules per kilogram. This is the 0 to 1 kilometer storm relative helicity, and obviously that's plenty of shear to get updrafts in rotation. And this is the STP, a composite index, the significant tornado parameter. And again, you can see uh, a number of spots, 5, 6, 7 units. The max is 11.3 over Mississippi, and uh, that obviously supports supercells and let's go to 1 a.m this is after midnight tomorrow night and we've still got elevated stp values so again i just really think the bigger issues will be tomorrow night but still we have to watch any storms that pop tomorrow afternoon but we've kind of expanded the the window here uh, kind of opened up a 12-hour window just under the assumption some of the afternoon storms might go severe so north and west of birmingham 1 p.m to 1 a.m uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. And then uh, Montgomery, Auburn, Opelika, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And again, we might adjust these times again later today as new model data comes in. One more graphic from model output. This is the uh, high-res NAM, and this is the updraft helicity product. And you see those gray lines. That represents rotation, storms that are rotating. And again, you can see a number of those tracks through Alabama, uh, parts of Mississippi and parts of West Tennessee. So again, it, just uh, please help us by letting your friends and neighbors know that there's going to be a very active day tomorrow and that they need to be able to hear warnings. The bulk of the population that really doesn't pay attention to weather, they just think they're going to hear a siren. And if you could encourage them to be sure that they've got wireless emergency alerts enabled on their phone, uh, have a weather radio if they can pick one up today, they're probably hard to find today. But just be sure they can hear warnings. And since this is a nighttime thing, that's really important. I have great concern over the siren mentality. And then, you know, know your safe place, know where you're going. Helmets for everybody. You know the drill if you watch these videos. But just help us tell your friends and neighbors about the situation. All right, so let's go to Thursday. Everything's uh, winding down. Cooler, highs in the uh, mid-60s. Maybe some lingering rain for the northern third of the state. This is Friday. The day will be... Mostly cloudy, cool, the high only around 60, and there could be a touch of light rain, but much of the day dry. Saturday should be a dry day, partially sunny with a high only in the upper 50s. This is Sunday. Many spots will be in the mid to upper 30s, maybe a touch of light frost in spots for the colder valleys, but the day will be sunny, the high Sunday, mid 60s. Monday, we're still dry, and this is a week from today, Tuesday the 23rd. Again, uh, you can see the troughiness west of the state. A surface low is over Wisconsin with a trailing front, and that will probably bring rain back in here by Tuesday night. That would not be a severe weather look. But let's go out to the end of next week. This is Friday, March the 26th. Very sharp negative tilt trough just north and west of the state. A deep surface low over southern Illinois, and that would be a severe weather look if this verifies. And again, we stress this is at the end of next week, and this will probably change, but something like this is certainly possible considering the time of the year. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean, about five inches between now and the end of March. There's the cool down after temperatures around 80 tomorrow, the high Friday 59, and you see 39 Sunday morning. This is for Birmingham, so the colder pockets could see some scattered light frost Sunday morning, but then we go back in the 70s next week. And the CPC outlook, this is for March 23rd through the 29th. Uh, suggesting temperatures here could be a little above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today.